Hello and welcome to the show. Today I am playing some BeamNG Drive and no, your eyes do not deceive you. This is indeed a motorbike that apparently by steering the wheels make the handbrake stop working. <laughs> okay, I didn't press a button, it did it on its own. Uh, yes, this is a motorbike. It does have a sidecar because, well, it's going to be quite tricky to drive this bike. Uh, BeamNG is not designed for bikes, uh, which means this kind of topples over fairly easily. It's crazy to try and drive this thing, uh, even with the sidecar on, um, to try and give it a bit of stability. Yeah, it's not the easiest thing to drive. However, I'm going to try and do a lap of the Donington Park track. A really well-made track, this one. Little, <laughs> It is just sort of just laid out in the middle of a field, but it's a very, fairly accurate, uh, rep good representation of Donington Park. Great map, this one. Uh, all the links to these mods shall be in the description, so if you have the game, you can find them uh, and try them yourself. I'm going to try and drive a wibbly-wobbly bike in first person around a lap of Donington Park. That is the plan. I mean, I may, I may well fall off. I'm absolutely terrified. I may well fall off and have an accident. Um, <laughs> every time I try, try to go around a corner. Uh, I am going to have to be quite cautious. This is not going to be flat out lap around the track. This is going to be uh, me on a motorbike, basically. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm really worried about this thing falling over. Uh, with the sidecar on, of course, it is the most stable because, well, it's technically now got sort of three wheels-ish, uh, so it is least likely to fall over. Trust me, this is the way you need to have it if you actually want to go even anywhere. Uh, it, ooh, as you can see, we're, ooh, we're wobbling. We're wobbling quite scarily. <laughs> um, okay, now this track is a pretty damn smooth track, which is one of the reasons why I picked it. I did not really want to be uh, facing off-road sections and bumps with a motorbike that is uh, that will try and kill me. To be fair, I could probably... Ooh, okay. They're now, now we're getting a tiny bit bumpy down here. Uh, I think I remember Donny... Oh, oh, no! We've got over! We've got over! Oh, dear. We've had a very big accident. Uh, <laughs> crap. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't think the sidecar's supposed to be there. I think I may have broken it. Right. Ah. Uh, bugger. Um... Okay, so we've got to be very careful when turning left. Oh, camera, that's the way we want to be pointing. Right, is this bike called... I've just had... I've just had I thought I saw something. Is this bike called an FRC? Oh, it's FCRR. I was going to have a fail race challenge, but it is not quite correct. Um, God damn it. Uh, I believe this is from a Ducati... I think it said Ducati. I know practically zero about bikes. Quite literally, I just know nothing about bikes other than Ducati... Uh, I believe Italian. I may be wrong on that. I think Ducati are Italian. Uh, <laughs> ooh, ooh, we can't go that fast. Oh, we've had another. Oh, we've fallen over. See, wouldn't have this problem with a. Ooh, hello. <laughs> wouldn't have this problem with a car. Right. Let's try again. So we can steer. We can hit. A, oh dear, that's. I'm getting worse. <laughs> I'm getting worse. I, I've landed on my head. Um. Hmm. Also, my head shouldn't do that. I'll be honest. I, if you can do that, uh, when well, wow, you yeah, I don't think that should. Oh, man. Well, this is a new way. To try. <laughs> we can try and drive like this. Yes. Oh God, this this isn't completely disorientating at all. Why am I trying to do this? I don't know. Um. Sure. Here we go. Um. Uh, no, I don't like that. I d definitely don't like that. Where can we look? That's backwards. Here we go. Somewhere over there, we'll be pointing the right way. <laughs> okay, it's fine. As you can tell, I haven't really spent much time in first-person view on here. Um, or would never tried looking around a complete circle. Never really had an, ever had a need to. So the, the way I've got to be careful steering is to the left. I'm trying to think of weight transfer and so on. Because you've got to be very careful with it. So we can steer this way. I mean, we, we wibble. We, we sort of start falling over, but the wheel balances it out. When we steer to the right, which is what we did when we were going down the hill, that's when it starts sort of being a problem. Okay, so we can get around this corner here without too many pro problems. Alright, we're fine here. Then we might have to be quite slow coming down the bottom of this hill, I think. Or we're going to have to, yeah, we're going to have to really slow it down. I mean, I can do sort of tiny little movements here. Uh, also, I should point out, I am using a controller for this. I would not recommend trying this with anything other than a controller. Um, because on controller, I can do little movements. With uh, keyboards, 
it uh, probably wouldn't be very drivable. Okay, so we got down the bottom of the hill. Then we've got to go up the hill the other side, past... Well, there, 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 is, a, there is a bridge on the, on the real track. In fact, I went to watch touring cars. Only time I've ever been to a, a, proper, a proper race thing. I can't remember what age I was. I was very young. I stood somewhere over in that over there. I remember. I remember Donington. Um, there was a grand. There, no, there wasn't even a grandstand over there. We, we were in the car parky kind of area, standing by by the bridge that should be somewhere up this hill. Um, yeah, only time I've actually actually seen a proper Tory car race. I've been to various race tracks with the college course I did, but there was never any. Uh, it was mostly test sessions. I don't actually know. Oh, we knew we did one race. I think it was an endurance race thing. Well, I say endurance. I can't remember how long it was. Was it six hours? I think it was. I can't remember. It was a while ago. Um, okay, now this corner might not be quite as pleasant as the rest. This bike's actually a little bit more drivable than I thought it would be. Um, probably because this surface is fa fairly smooth. Uh, no, this corner here should be okay. And I am actually surprised I've got this far. Oh, okay, I tried to use a bit of speed. Speed is not good. Speed is not... This bike is quite quick. If I dare go fast enough to, to try out, I will try. If I do make a lap of this track, I will try giving it the beans and see what it does. Uh, shall we do the... I don't know what the different track layouts are called at Donington. The one they use in the touring cars, or the, the full circuit. Shall we try go for the full circuit? Or shall we do... Uh, we'll, we'll try. We'll try the full circuit. I'm very, I'm very glad that this, this track is almost completely right-handers. Because that really helps this bike, because that's the way it likes to steer. Apart from this chicane here, if we're going to do the other layout... Oh, we are kind of... Uh, please stop, bike. Please stop. Okay, little little steering. Little steering. Okay, we're under braking. We do, do pull slightly to the right. Um, that's kind of... <laughs> it's kind of scary. I'm also very much terrified of putting on the brakes too hard. I don't know. I'm assuming that will cause problems if I... Where's the... Is that the turning? Is that where I should have got? I think there might even be. Oh, oh no! Oh, oh dear! We're off-roading. We're off-roading on a motorbike. Um, um, I want to go this way without falling over. Uh, <laughs> oh dear! Can we can we get out of here? How good are we off-road? And that looks like a piece of road, and we can steer to the right, okay? And then we can have another right-hander here, and then the final corner is going to be a bit of a pain that we might fall over on. Because uh, the final corner is going to be a... Le Ooh. Uh, <laughs> come on, tease it round, and then um, wobble over. I, just just behave yourself, bike. Woo. <laughs> yeah, pretty scary, this one. Behave yourself well enough to get around the next corner, and then we'll see how fast you go. Okay? That's a promise. You can show the audience how fast you are, and how much you want to try and kill me. Just as long as we can get around this final corner without wobbling over. Brakes are not very good. Brakes are kind of like a push bikes. Oh, there, that's, that's pro <laughs> Oh dear, oh dear. Now, li little movements, that's a big movement. I need little movements, bike. Little movements, there we go. We have crawled around the final corner. And then, I am surprised that I managed that. I will be honest. Woo. Okay, that was that was a bit of full power, and we did start. Let's, let's see what we can do when we are at full power. No, we pull quite badly to the left under full power and then I'm scared to counteract it to the right. Uh, brakes. Brakes might be useful. Ooh. Woo. I uh, nearly saved it. <laughs> Ooh, I la- ah. I thought I'd landed briefly on my wheels. Bugger. <laughs> um. Ow. I mean, I'm in the, I'm in the vegetation again. <laughs> I'm actually surprised I made a lap of the track. I honestly didn't think I would. Uh, whee, you see, it does fall over. It's it's crazy, this thing. I love it for being crazy. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, let's see how far... How fast can we actually take a corner before we just fall over? I'll go back to third-person view now. So under acceleration, we do pull quite quite significantly to the left. I am, as you can see, by the handlebars. And then when we go under braking... Oh, we lift the front wheels up. Oh, that's a jump. I, I didn't land a jump. It didn't land a jump. It oh no, we've we've lost the sight. <laughs> we've we've lost an integral part of our balance over there. Um, bugger. <laughs> this is a crazy contraption. I absolutely love it. Um, it is just it's just undrivable enough to be fun, or to be sort of silly fun, and just drivable enough so that you can actually sort of use it. As you can see, I don't know how I saved that. That was incredible, incredible. Uh, can we stop though? No, we can't. We've done too much. 
we're going to skid into the scenery again. Hello, tree. Uh, land it. Oh, no, I think we'd have buggered the steering up anyway. And I don't know what's, what's around this map. Shall we go play in the forest? We can't. Surely we can't get a bike stuck. I can get a big truck stuck. I wonder how far the forest goes before I hit an invisible wall. I'm going to go explore on a hard to control motorbike because that that can only end well. Um, all right, if we can stop you, I mean, if we could stop. <laughs> so under acceleration, it pulls to the. Oh, oh! I rescued it. Look at that! I am amazing. I am a well. I wouldn't say a biker. I I, I did a thing with a bike. Not sure how I saved that one, but I'll take it. Let's go off-roading and adventuring in my little motorbike. <laughs> uh, how I don't know how bumpy it gets out here. Oh no, it's it's a pretty dense forest around Donington Park. It, it's changed a bit since I was last there. I seem to remember they have a Formula One, or they had a, a racing museum with quite a few Formula One cars. I don't know if that's still there. I presume so. That was pretty cool. Um, I don't remember the forests surrounding it. I do remember an airport. I think there's an airport there. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, that's that's about all I remember. Uh, can we? Oh, we can. We can keep going. This there is quite an extensive forest around here, um, and then I think that's the end of the world over there. Ah, yes, Donington, famous for being right on the edge of the world. Um, hey, the bike has made it, um, and then we've fallen over. Oh, just at the very edge. There we go. Yeah, we've. <laughs> We've parked it. Uh, this is a very, very cool track. I do like this uh, for a racetrack. This, this is a good place to sort of come and mess around with some of the faster vehicles. Nice wide open spaces. Very smooth track, actually. Uh, you saw, I, I, I got a bike around here without toppling over. So, uh, yeah, it's a, <laughs> it's a great track um, to mess around on. This is a silly thing to try and drive. Uh, it really is. Very good fun, though, just trying to control it and try not to constantly topple over. Although I would recommend trying to use a sidecar. Uh, or I, I don't say trying to use. I would most definitely recommend using a sidecar if you want it to actually really get anywhere. Um, <laughs> there, there are many different options on here. They've tried to get it to work. It doesn't quite balance yet. I'm sure in the future, um, bikes and things will may well work on beam. Uh, at the moment, it's just not really quite designed yet fully for this kind of vehicle. Uh, but it's cool you get to play around with something that is utterly, utterly crazy. Uh, do you know what I'm like? I love stuff that's utterly, utterly crazy. Um, however, there we go. I did a lap of the Donington Park racetrack with a Ducati and a sidecar, and I only fell over a few a few minor times. So, um, yeah, go check these mods out. And uh, that is it for today, so thank you very much for watching. And until next time, goodbye. Can we do a donut? That is the question. Can we do a donut without falling now? That's not really worked, has it, bike? I want to do a... If we do it the other way, I'm going to guess I know what's going to happen. Here we go. Here we go. We're doing a... No, we're not done a donut. No, we can't do donuts. Doesn't work. God damn it.